This is a $2 billion cruise ship, and it's big enough to hold an entire city on the water. How do humans build this stuff? And I'm going to show you what it costs to fuel the largest cruise ship in the world. Icon of the Seas is the same length as the Empire State Building, but I don't think the Empire State Building can move. When Icon's sailing on the ocean, she's burning 10 tons of fuel per hour. A school bus weighs 10 tons. This ship is one of the largest moving objects ever created. At 250,000 tons, Icon's five times larger than the Titanic and has the largest water park on a ship ever with six water slides along with seven pools. She towers 20 decks high, holds 10,000 people, and you can stay in the ultimate family townhouse that starts at $90,000 a week. You're probably assuming something this gigantic requires tremendous tremendous amounts of power. And you'd be right. Heated pools, surf simulators, restaurants, Broadway shows, the passengers' staterooms, every square foot of Icon requires some sort of power. And the ship has to maintain a cruising speed of up to 22 knots. To power all this, Icon of the Seas can produce an astounding 90 megawatts of power. That's enough to power 10,000 homes for an entire year. <laughs> And all that power comes with an expensive fuel bill. To figure out how much it's going to cost, let's take a look below deck at her engines. Icon's bigger than a thousand Boeing 737s, so it doesn't take just one engine to power all this. Instead, she has six massive state-of-the-art engines made by the best marine power manufacturer in the world, Wartzilla. And Icon's loaded up with their top model, the 14V46 Dual Fuel. Each of these engines is 6 meters tall, 12 meters wide, and weighs 250 tons. That weighs more than 120 25 cars for just one engine. Icon 6 massive engines with a city at sea to power. How much fuel does it take to power the biggest cruise ship ever? While underway, Icon burns over 200 tons of fuel per day. That's over 100,000 gallons a day. That's equivalent in weight to more than three space shuttles, the Statue of Liberty, or 40 elephants per day. In a week, Icon burns 1,500 tons of fuel. That's a lot of elephants. But you've probably noticed that sailing on the biggest ship in the world doesn't come cheap, and it's easy to see why. Icon has eight different neighborhoods, each with a unique experience. One of the most thrilling attractions is a ropes course suspending passengers over the side of the ship. The most impressive feature, though, is easily the Aqua Dome, an 82-foot high glass dome providing beautiful ocean views during the day, and an aqua theater at night throwing divers into the pool alongside the largest waterfall on a ship ever. The largest ice skating rink at sea over 40 bars and restaurants, 3,000 staterooms. Keeping all this stuff working requires a staggering amount of fuel, and storing all that fuel on board comes with a hefty price tag. Just how much? Well, that depends on the ship's massive fuel storage. For safety reasons, cruise ships have to carry three times as much fuel as they'd need for any trip, which means that for the typical seven-day cruise throughout the Caribbean, Icon's holding over 4,000 tons of fuel. That's 20 Statue of Liberties. But it's not your typical car's fuel on Icon. It's not your typical ship's fuel either. Cruise ships typically burn heavy fuel oil, but burning HFO creates unbelievably high amounts of toxicity because it contains a lot of sulfur, which causes acid rain. With ever-rising regulations concerning the use of fossil fuels along with ever-rising costs of oil, fuel oil engines have become less economically viable. That's exactly where Icon's 46DF engines step in, as what makes these engines more special is that they have advanced dual fuel technology, so that each engine can run on both liquid and gas fuel, which allows Icon of the Seas to adapt to whatever fuel is currently available or better priced. The fuel that'll primarily be used, though, is liquefied natural gas, or LNG, which can cost as much as 30% less than fuel oil, not to mention the air pollution significantly lower than what it usually is since LNG has lower sulfur and nitrogen oxides than fuel oil. So LNG is gaining popularity across the cruise industry for its reduced environmental impact, and Carnival's been leading the way with a handful of ships already powered by it. But to allow her to use the cleanest fuel as well, Icon of the Seas is equipped with two massive LNG fuel tanks. Each of these tanks are 90 feet long and 25 feet wide. Together they hold enough fuel to fill a high school gymnasium. So Royal Caribbean's been excited to debut LNG for the first time on Icon, calling it a major milestone. But remember, Royal Caribbean tends to hype things. The biggest ship, the biggest water park, the biggest ice rink, the most advanced ships. But there's an interesting twist with Icon's fuel. Despite Icon's enormous 250,000 ton size, its LNG tanks are relatively small. 
In fact, they're only about 70% the size of the tanks on Carnival Mardi Gras, which is a much smaller ship at 180,000 tons. So the smaller Carnival ship has bigger LNG tanks than Icon. They've said Mardi Gras can cruise on LNG for up to 14 days, but I bet Icon can barely make it through a week. So while Icon may be the biggest ship, Carnival Mardi Gras and Celebration are actually better equipped to handle LNG, making them more efficient and advanced below deck. Not to mention, Carnival Corporation debuted their first LNG ship with Ida Nova in 2018, six years before Royal Caribbean. To fill in the gaps with LNG, Icon's going to have to burn a ton of fuel oil as well, which is stored in gigantic fuel tanks below the water. But it hasn't just been Carnival going all in on LNG. Port Canaveral spent five years revamping their entire infrastructure for LNG-powered cruise ships like Icon and Carnival Mardi Gras. Cruise ports have had to completely rethink how they fuel these ships, bringing in advanced new fueling systems and special barges just to handle LNG. These special fueling ships have huge ball shaped tanks. They store LNG at an icy negative 260 degrees Fahrenheit to keep it in its liquid form. That's colder than the surface of the moon at night. But it's not just the fuel systems and ports getting upgrades, cruise ships themselves are evolving too. Have you noticed Icon of the Sea's bow looks more futuristic? Compare this to Harmony's bow or older cruise ships. You see how Icon's is more like a rectangle? This is called a parabolic bow, and it reduces fuel consumption by up to 25%. Well, actually, 25% is a bit of a stretch. That figure came from the transition between Royal Caribbean celebrity Solstice Class to Edge Class and was quoted by their former CEO, so it's likely an inflated number. In reality, the fuel savings are probably more like 10%, but even then, that would still mean Icon's new bow saves at least $5 million worth of fuel per year, just from the new shape. And $5 million is a lot of money even for a massive ship like Icon. But how much does Icon's fuel cost? Well, LNG cost about $400 a ton. On average, the ship burns through 250 tons of LNG for a day at sea. That pushed fuel expenses to around $100,000 to $150,000 a day. Over a typical seven-day cruise, Icon burns over a million dollars worth of fuel. That's a $52 million annual fuel bill. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my calculations in the description. As you can see, this video took a lot of work and research. Please show your support by liking and subscribing and Thanks for watching.